Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing I Hauled It, But Did I Like It? Oh, we are finally back with the I Hauled It. And for anybody who's new and it's like, I haven't seen one of those, I haven't done one in a long while. But these are, or used to be, a series where I would come back, take things that I have recently hauled, and review them in more detail for you guys. So it was something that I really loved doing. And I have about five products I want to talk to you guys about. Four of them are drugstore, so I'm pretty excited about that. One is high-end, but... I believe that most of us, because most of us have BoxyCharm by now, most of us got it in a BoxyCharm, I believe. I believe that's where it came from. So if you guys want to see what I'm going to be reviewing and how I liked it, then just sit tight and we'll get right into it. So let's start off with the high-end product, and that is from Cargo. And this is their HD what do they label it as? Picture Perfect Highlighter in Bronze. And I actually had the hardest time trying to find this. We got it in a BoxyCharm, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was in a BoxyCharm, which cost $21. This is $30. So that is a really great deal to get it in a BoxyCharm, but $30 for a highlighter is a pretty hefty price tag, in my opinion, especially for cargo. But I did have a hard time finding this. I finally found it on the actual cargo website, but I still had to dig there as well. But it only seems to come in the color bronze, which was weird because they kept directing me to the blush and highlights. Um, when I finally found it, it only came in bronze, which this is what we got it in as well in the boxy charm, which it doesn't seem that dark of a color, so I was okay with it. Now they say that this is formulated for high defining filming. The Cargo HD Highlighter in Bronze contains specialized photochromatic pigments that reflect light to provide a radiant picture perfect finish. I at first, I was like, the way that they said it on BoxyCharm, the way that they like described it, I thought they were trying to say that it was a highlighter that videos couldn't detect, which that wasn't right, that wasn't correct, because when I did the swatch of it, you could see it perfectly. And I've used it on camera sometimes, and you could see it perfectly. This isn't a very like pow in your face kind of highlight. It's very more, it's more subtle, I believe. And it's very powdery. Like you go to swatch it and it's, it will kick up, especially with a brush. But it is definitely a little bit too dark for me. A little bit. And I'm very, very fair. So most people could probably use this and get away with using it as a highlighter. And it is going to be a very nice highlighter. So it came with, let's see, it's good for 12 months and it comes with 0.26 ounces in it or 7.5 grams, which is not too bad. That's, that's pretty good. And it does come with a mirror. My overall opinions on this, like if I sat down and I was like, would I purchase this? Would I take my own money and go out and buy this? No, I, I wouldn't. It's not a, a good enough highlighter in my opinion. It's the formula isn't up to par. The reflectiveness of it isn't isn't shocking. I have stuff like this that's drugstore and is even just a little bit better for that lit within glow because um, that's really what I categorize this as because it's not a very reflective glow. It's more of a lit from within glow. So no, I wouldn't. I would go more towards like the Essence Nude Highlighter or the um, Hard Candy Tiki or the um, Wet n Wild Copacabana or whatever that one's called. I can never remember the name of that one, but for $30, no. I'd actually probably go and buy a palette or something different. So I like that this, uh, that we got this in the BoxyCharm. In that sense, this is an amazing deal and it was one of my favorite products, you know? So you get a $21 BoxyCharm and you get a $30 product that isn't horrible, you know, but it's not worth the full price. Perfection. Buying this on its own, no, no, I won't do it. All right, let's move on to a sponge. And it's dirty because I used it. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that's going to wash something unless it's really nasty before I film. But look, if I go like this, it doesn't even look like I really used it. So that's okay. But this is L'Oreal's sponge, or one of them. And this retails for $7.99. I believe at Ulta right now, or at least online at Ulta, you can buy two, get one free. I don't know if that's still going on, but it should be. So if you guys are in the market for their sponges, you can get two and then get the other one for free. Because I think they have three or four different sponges. This is the only one I've tried. 
and I grabbed this because I saw someone talking about it and I can't remember who it was but they were going on and on about how it was softer than the, the beauty blender it was like the best sponge at the drugstore I mean they were really going on about it so I'm like okay well I'm gonna try it out because the only one that I have from the drugstore is the flower beauty one and I absolutely love that one that one's a ride or die so if this one's better I want to know so is this one better no no let me get let me get the flower one now this is the flower beauty one and then this is the l'oreal one they have two different shapes the l'oreal one is a little bit bigger honestly it's still a little bit damp so that might be why um this the flower beauty one is about a dollar more than this one and it's better it's softer it's way softer than this one but this one is incredibly soft for a drugstore sponge you're not really going to go wrong with either one of these sponges they're both very soft and very easy to use and much better than most other beauty blenders besides the actual beauty blender that you can get for like twenty dollars these are only around they run you around eight dollars you guys and they are just as good this one's definitely softer but the tip of it is a little bit harder to work with than this one i find this one much easier to work out concealer with but this one's not like killer hard you know so the flower beauty one is still my favorite but if you've been thinking about getting this or you need a good drugstore beauty blender this is a great option. It is very soft. It's got a nice butt for the foundation and it's got a nice tip for concealer. And you know, you can work it out with any kind of cream products that you need to use as well. So I think this is totally worth the money. If you've been on the fence, grab it. It does make me curious about the other sponges as well because it is a great sponge. I just personally don't think it's the best at the drugstore. I think the Flower Beauty one is, but this also is a little bit more pricey. Now the next thing I want to talk about is a setting powder and I actually got this from Octoly and this is from a company called Kiss Professionals which I'm sure that a lot of you know, have heard of. They have an array of different kinds of products. I didn't know that they had a lot of makeup. I had no idea. So this was really cool when I saw this on Octoly. I had to try to order it and see if I could review it. I do know that they have eyelashes and eyelash glue which are two of my favorite products in the whole world I just repurchased my favorite lash glue from them and I also know that they do kind of like nail stuff so I wasn't too aware that they had a lot of makeup because at Walmart where I go for their products there are no makeup there I've never seen makeup there so I had no idea so it was nice to see so this is their pro touch setting powder and I was really excited to try this out because I'm always looking for a good setting powder from the drugstore because I, I like a lot of high-end setting powders but they're like $30 plus and Who's got time for that? So this setting powder will run you about $8 and it comes in four different shades. It comes in a translucent, a banana, like a orangey brown, and then an earth color, which is brown, which I think are pretty good shades, but I think there could have been a couple more different things in there because this is supposed to keep you matte and they say that a few of them can also color correct and do a bunch of other things for you but I think if they're going to run this with a color correcting label on them then they need to at least have like a green a yellow an orange you know stuff like that and they have the kind of orangish color but that seemed really too dark for people who need a like a orange color to color correct but maybe fair skin so I think they could throw in a couple more different shades in there but other than that I liked they had different kinds like that that ranged for different skin tones I went with the translucent because that's just what I like to use when it comes to setting powders so this let's see here this is good for a year and where are you where are you and you get 10 grams of powder for eight dollars that's not bad at all now when you open this up this is a messy product. You do have a sifter there, and we all know with things like that, it can get a little bit messy. Not as messy as a lot of them can be, but it can get messy. Fun. Now my overall opinions on this is I loved it. It's soft. It's easy to blend out. It doesn't have a cast. I've not seen it when I use it in my videos. Like you can't see it on my face. Like that IT Cosmetics powder that I will never let go of, you know? like. It's great. I think it's amazing. I think it's worth purchasing. However, there are some things that threw me off a little bit. Like whenever I do use this, and it's the summer, so when I sweat, I sweat on my mustache and my forehead. And I notice that when I use this and that happens, I start itching and I get a little bit of a rash exactly where I have light sweating on my face whenever I use this. And it's only this. And so I went looking into the ingredients and I noticed that the first ingredient in this is silica 
And I checked all of my setting powders, you guys, and I have a ton of setting powders. And the only one that I found that had silica in it as well is the Catrice setting powder, the Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. And I thought, well, maybe it's because it's mattifying. Maybe people use mattifying, you know, they use silica for mattifying. But I have mostly mattifying set setting powders because I like matte. And none of them other ones, none of the other ones, let's try to talk, none of the other ones had silica in it. And this one does, but the silica is way, way down on the list. Silica is the first ingredient in this setting powder. And silica, if you don't know, is a property of silicone. And it's used to make sand and glass, fiberglass, like stuff like that. It's like it's used to make window pane glasses and sand products and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really sure what the need for it is in a setting powder. I don't know. I didn't delve that deep into it. If any of you know, let us know. Um, obviously, it can be commonly used, but not too commonly because out of about 20 setting powders, I only found one other one besides this one that had silica in it. And it's the first ingredient in this one. And I think that that may be what's causing a reaction when it's mixed with sweat on my face because I'm definitely having a reaction from it. But nothing to stop me from using it. Because you guys, I love it. It's so soft. It works amazingly. It keeps my makeup set all day. And it doesn't have the white cast. So, I'm good. Now, the last two products I want to talk to you guys about are from Milani's. Because Milani came out with a couple of new products. Um, at least that I know of. Because I can only find Milani at my local Walmart. And they get everything, like, a month at least later than the whole world seems to. <laughs> So I believe that these are new. So the first thing is a concealer. And this is their Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. And it has one of those little, like, foamy butts on it. Kind of like the Maybelline Age Rewind has, or at least I thought. And this comes with, let's see here, good for 12 months. Tell me how much you come with. Of course, it was on the front. <laughs> it comes with 0.24 fluid ounces. Now... I'll be right back. Now the Age Rewind comes with 0.2 fluid ounces and this is 0.24. Now I really didn't think in my personal opinion that there was a lot of concealer to this. This is very small compared to everything else that you see so it kind of comes off like there would be more in other products than in this but maybe not. Um, this is really really small. The sponge on it. Now let's actually talk about the formula here for a minute. I got it in 01 fair which I believe is the lightest or second to lightest shade and it actually matched my skin tone it didn't brighten it didn't do any of that it says it retouches and erases and I don't believe that either this um it looked horrible <laughs> it honestly looked really really bad I didn't like it you guys will see that I used it in my next two videos this week that you'll see I was using that concealer and it was just not good. There was something off about my skin, my face, at least I felt. Um, my under eyes just did not look good as they usually do or like they do now, in my opinion. I've been using that Korean um, concealer and I just can't get around that. And nothing else is good enough. This, I think, if you have light discolorization under your eyes, it will work amazingly. And I'm talking about it for under the eyes because it's marketed as an under eye concealer, you guys. There's someone using it under their eyes right there on the package when you look at it. So it says that it's a light lifting concealer, and I just didn't see that. There was no lifting. There was no brightening. You know, I got it in fair. It should have been at least a little bit lighter than my skin tone, and it wasn't. Um, and also, this sponge here at the end... When you use this, it's a very soft sponge. It's very soft, like a sponge. This is hard as a rock. It's hard as a rock, and it comes out of the spout. Like, there's a hole in the middle of it, and it comes out of it like, like you're just squeezing it out of a tube. And I could understand that if the sponge was soft and then you can move it around your eye where you need it to go, but it was very hard to place the product with this because the sponge was so hard but it does also soak up a lot of product too so i was like you know what i'm not really feeling that i'm not really feeling that at all and i believe this was run this will run you around nine dollars so for nine dollars no i do not think this was worth it i was let down by this product i didn't see that it worked or did anything that they claimed it to do so if you guys have used this and you actually like it 
if I'm using it wrong or you know if maybe you have a different opinion let us know in the comments but for me this was a waste of nine dollars and I don't like the applicator and I don't like the formula now the last product I want to talk to you about is Milani's new highlighters let's not blind you it looks like this like a little sand dune kind of ripple effect this is their strobe light instant glow powder comes with 8.5 grams in it and it retails for ten dollars it's very beautiful and i believe that it comes in four or five shades and mine were all sold out except for this one which is 03 so it's the third darkest shade out of four i believe so it's a little bit too dark for me but it can work and it's called sun glow and I want to get one this like the second one or the first one for an actual highlighter, but this one does work, especially if I get a tan this summer. This is not a bad product at all. I would recommend to get these. These are pretty. They're not too reflective, but they can be built up and they can be very pretty. And I think that it might not be as reflective for me because it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone and that's it. You know, like when you work with products that are not exactly for your skin type or your skin tone, your review of them can't be completely right. Not completely. But I do use things like this as eyebrow highlights, as inner corner highlights. And I can still use it as a cheek, nose, whatever kind of highlight I want to. Especially with a bronze kind of look. The formula on these are, are wonderful. They're not too powdery. They are very, very pigmented. I mean, you're, you're definitely getting a nice glow there. You're definitely getting a nice glow there. So I really think that these are completely worth it. They're beautiful. They do have the gold Milani kind of packaging to them that is a little bit thick. So they can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to store. But I mean, for $10, you're really, really getting a great product here. And I can't hate on it. I mean, what do you guys think about this product? Who has it? Who has it? Who was able to get it? Because I know that it was sold out so many different places. And a lot of the shades are way, way dark. So I'm hoping I can find some lighter shades. But this one will do and I will keep it even if I get a lighter shade. So definitely worth it. It lasts a long time on the skin, you guys. The formula is very creamy, not too powdery. It's a $10 price tag. And it does exactly what it says it does. So I'm good. So that is everything that I wanted to review for you guys today. If you guys have tried any of these products, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. If you like this video and want to see more I haul this, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Subscribe before you guys leave, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Put it on me.